Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another Pandora video. So I have been doing so many Pandora videos in my office lately. I feel like this is the only backdrop you see, but it gives me the best vantage point to actually show you the charm. So let me know if you're getting bored of it down below um, and I'll see if I can't switch it up a little, but at the end of the day, I think you'd rather have a good distraction-free backdrop like my white desk to see the charms than to have something else in the backdrop. So today I have charm mail. So I have gone just a little crazy um, with buying charms through Facebook groups lately. I need to like unfollow all of these groups. I have every year I kind of go through my collection and I make a new list, priority list, of what I'm looking for um, to complete my bracelets. And then I kind of know, like, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I, I like, but I'm not looking for that. It doesn't go with anything that I'm looking for. Um, and it just kind of helps me prioritize when I want all of the things. But this year it completely backfired. I made my list and I had a lot of retired charms on the list this year. And they kept popping up in Facebook groups. Like normally I'll get maybe one or two in a group. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages here. So anyways, most of these are retired or hard to find or just not something I can get around here. Um, they're not maybe all retired, but most of them are. So I'm going to go ahead and open them. I have tried to, for the, to the best of my ability, open all of the packages kind of in preparation so you don't have to sit here watching me cut and fumble my way through each of the seven packages. But let's go ahead and get into this and we'll see. I'm always a little hesitant buying things online that isn't from a Pandora store, um, but typically, you know, you get in some of the good groups and these people are, are vetted to to, to sell authentic Pandora, but you never know. So if you see anything that you don't think is authentic Pandora, let me know. But I'm one of those people that while I want 100% authentic Pandora, I'm not going to be devastated if something isn't. It's just not my preference. I don't think I have anything that isn't, knock on wood. I try to be very careful, but you know. Some people are really good at spotting fakes. So if you see something you think is off, let me know. We are gonna go ahead and jump in. Cause like I said, seven packages, this could take a minute. <laughs> let me go ahead and switch y'all to face down. All right, y'all ready to get into this. So we're gonna go, I think one at a time so that it's not as Overwhelming. So first one first here. Is that everything? Yeah. Okay. So this package, I'm actually really excited for this one. <laughs> I'm going to say that about every single package. I apologize in advance. This one I have been looking for for a while. And these are two. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It's a little out of focus. Um, purple forget-me-not spacer charms. I got two of them because I want them to go on either side of the centerpiece for my new bracelet. They are beautiful in person. I hope that's translating. I wish I could get a really close shot for you, but it's like just will not focus. So these I got from a gal on Facebook who had said her mom had passed and she was selling her collection. She had more of them and now I am really wishing I had bought four. You can see the hallmarks there. They look beautiful. Um, I don't remember what I paid for any of this, so, you know, I can look it up if you want me to. <laughs> Here is the first package for Get Me Not Spacers. So I am just going to go ahead and kind of 
Let's take this part out. I'm gonna just put everything right in here until we're done. That way it's safe and also out of the way. So, second package. Now this one, you know, everyone kind of packages things differently. This one was a bubble package and I felt like that was really safe. This one is literally just an envelope. Um, she didn't put a return address on it. And so if it hadn't got here, it would have just not got here. And you can see how it did in the mail, both sides there. So, you know, when you buy from Facebook, not everyone is going to package it the best, but she was so sweet to deal with. I was buying this bracelet. Um, she was a Pandora employee who was not working there anymore and selling pieces of her collection. And I went to purchase this bracelet. It is a size two. It's the open bangle. And then she got snowed in. And so she included this O-ring for me at like a ridiculously good price. Because I had asked her about it and said, no, it's too much. I don't want it. And so I'm really excited. This is my first O-ring. These are my just favorite bracelets of all time. I have like four or five of them now. And so when I see them for a good price, I scoop them up because I just love to put charms on these. They're so easy to wear. And this one's a size two. Um, you can see it fits um, a little snugger. Usually on these, I'll only put one charm. Um, I prefer the size large for my wrist. So keep that in mind. But for the price, I'll put you know, one or two charms on that, it'll be great. But here's the O-ring, it does open. I'm really excited about this one. I did order a chain for it already, so we will see, we will see. I don't have any idea what to put on this. I've never had an O-ring before, so if you have any ideas, let me know. I do think I have this pendant, which I recently took off a bracelet because I was getting this O-ring. So I do think I'm going to put this pendant on it, but this is the medium size O-ring in the rose gold, obviously. And so it can hold, I guess, up to five charms, maybe more than that if they're little like this. I need some ideas for what to put with this because that by itself is not as cool. All right, next package. Okay, this one has my name on the back and the front. A lot of people um, address both sides. And this is a bubble mailer. So, I mean, I feel like bubble mailers are pretty appropriate and they protect things well. This girl actually, like, has a cute little bag with a cute little sticker. I don't know what's in half of these because who can keep track? It's a charm, but it's like stuck in here. I don't, I don't know why I don't want to rip the bag because it's not like I'm gonna keep it. But okay, it's definitely a charm. I think I know what charm it is, but I don't know. It's so tapey. Okay, this is weird. I hope the charm's not all sticky. <laughs> Might be. I suppose it is what it is. Definitely safe. There we go. Okay. It's my hot air balloon charm. I'll put all the names for you on the screen because I don't remember the top of my head what everything's called. But this is the hot air balloon. It's a button charm. I feel like it's just not focusing today, which is really not good. It's very pretty. So it's all those blues and pinks. And then on the back, it says, 
Live Life in the Clouds. That's really cute. So I actually really wanted this one because I just think it's pretty and I wanted the colors for a bracelet I'm working on. Now, when I lived in Colorado Springs, which is where I went to high school, they had a hot air balloon festival that we would go to, um, me and my friends every year. And at the time, I was not collecting Pandora. And so I never got a hot air balloon charm. And so that is the only thing that this could possibly be for. <laughs> so there you go. It's a high school charm, I guess. It's very pretty. I hope it's picking up. I really like all the CZs around the side. Now let's check the hallmarks. There we go. The hallmarks are on this side. That's a good one. This girl had quite a few charms, but that was the only one I wanted. All right, so this one just came today. It's the last one I was waiting for. It's all the way at the bottom. Okay, so this is, I'm very excited about this. So when I was in uh, Mexico on my recent cruise, I found one of these. Murano's it is the garden glass Murano with the pretty bees and the flowers and I, whoops like I said I just found one in Mexico um, on sale for like 30 bucks but they only had one you always need two for a pair and so I was looking for a second one so that I can have four on my enchanted garden bracelet that I'm working on. It is my favorite Murano of all time. And I actually ended up buying a 21 inch bracelet and not a 20 inch bracelet. So four Muranos will, will help it fit a little better. I probably wouldn't have done four Muranos if I hadn't found one on sale in Mexico, but there you go. And it's got the hallmarks on the one side just like my other ones, so that's good. This one I actually ended up getting from Mercari, which makes me a little nervous sometimes. But the girl I got it from didn't have like a million different charms. She didn't have, you know, 85 million of the same one, so that helps. All right, so these last three um, packages have my address on both sides and I couldn't find a Sharpie. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna cover them up. This one, aha, there you go. That's cute. Hi Betsy, here are your gift and your open clip. Lou. And this girl, like you can see she, uh, this is all tape. This is all duct tape. Now I, like I said, I kind of opened everything at the very least before starting the video because you never know. And this girl, like I had to actually take two or three layers of wrap off because she wrapped these so well, like they were not going to be damaged at all. And she actually included a cute little opener that was like a guitar pick that I can't find. I'm sure I'll find it soon, but I haven't looked at the charms yet. I just got them to the point where they could be opened. So you can see I sliced all of this open and then she had all this bubble wrap. Sometimes I think it's better if I do this on camera because then you guys see like how much work they put into it. But then like this took me almost 20 minutes to get into this package. And then both of these charms were individually wrapped in tissue. And then she taped the heck out of them. Like it took a long time. I don't want you guys to have to wait that long. So these are two of the retired charms that I picked up. My best friend who just got married that I've talked about in a couple videos had two bridal showers and they were both tea parties because she is a tea queen. She loves it. So we picked up a couple of the retired tea charms, this little tea cup, 
This is the one I was actually after. And she included this little teapot. They were a set, so I had to get both of them. So let's see. These are like OG charms. There's the hallmark right under here. I don't know if you can even see it. It's very faint. And this one has the little gold top as the older two-tone charms typically do. And then this one has the hallmarks on the bottom of the saucer. I love all the scallops and the details on this one. I love both of them, but I already have a teacup charm, the Enchanted teacup. Um, so I may or may not give this one to my best friend because I'm not 100% sure that I need two or three. And then I just ordered, you'll see it, it's in one of these packages ordered another teapot as well so this one if it doesn't quite go it may end up being like on its own like I said with that open bangle like this would be one that would be really cute on its own but if I don't put it by itself or with one or two other little charms this one's tiny so I could probably do like two other tiny ones then it may go to my best friend she does like Pandora, but she is not obsessed like I am. So, but thank you, Jacqueline, for these. Your packaging was by far the best of anyone. So cute. I really love that teacup. I feel like I need to just do a whole tea themed bracelet for my bestie, but, but I don't need to do that. I don't need to. Okay, so this one is. Aha, I remember it now. Bubble wrap. And this one has bubble wrap and the bubble wrap and then the bag and then a bag in the bag. It's not nearly as exciting when I've pre-opened them, but it's just, I had seven packages, you guys. I don't want you to have to wait through seven packages. You just don't get my screaming reactions, but maybe that, maybe your ears prefer that. This one is also for my Enchanted Fairy Garden Fairy Bracelet. And it is, dun dun dun, dun the Tinkerbell Dress Dangle. So if you guys didn't know, um, you've seen my cat in plenty of videos. And her name is Lily. But her full name is Tiger Lily. And sh I had a second cat. Um named Tinkerbell, who was very sick and passed away. But both of my cats I got in high school, and so Tinkerbell and Tiger Lily, they were my little Peter Pan kitties. And so I really like, I've been wanting this for a while. I still want the slipper. If anyone has the slipper, let me know. But it is very pretty with the wing detail, and I thought that it would go really well with these Muranos and kind of pull that green out a little bit since most of that bracelet is purple. Really like them together. Like I am almost tempted to just put two of these and this dress dangle by themselves, but probably need to go on the bracelet. So obviously it says Tinkerbell on the bail. And here we go. Here's the hallmarks. I really hope you guys are being able to see all this because typically once I get it on my computer, it looks fine. But it looks so distorted in my camera lens today. I'm not sure why. So, you know, if none of this comes out usable, I guess we'll have to put it all back together and reshoot it. Yay. If you're hearing this, I didn't have to do that. All right, last but not least. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this one a little ways down because I can't cover my address and her address, but I think this just has charms in it. Yeah, so she included a little bag, that's nice. She's the only one who did. Well, this was a bag and this was a bag. Ha, huh, they match, they're from different countries. This is a Pandora bag. So this should be the last of the teapots. Okay, yep, so these two 
was another two-part teapot set. And probably my most exciting find because I have been looking for this exclusive teapot for a while and it is gorgeous with all of the detail and the sculpting and all the hearts. I think it's the Turkish teapot. My best friend actually... Her um, fiance, now husband, Dalip, is Indian. And while they had a wedding in America, it was definitely an Indian American wedding. And so they had quite a lot of tea. Both my best friend loves tea. And it's a very big thing in Indian culture. His mama made so much tea, everyone's eyes were going to float out of their heads. And she had quite a few teapots that looked like this. So. My mom thinks I should give this to Rachel, that it will be more special to her, and that could be true. Um, but it is a very hard-to-find charm. It's one I've been wanting for a while. There's the hallmarks on the bottom. And if Rachel ends up wanting it, she can have it. But while she likes Pandora, like I said, she's not obsessed. Um, so I'm not 100% sure that she will... Um, end up necessarily wanting it because she only has like two charms so far <laughs> and so if I'm already giving her one that'll be three charms and this one four this one I know for sure I'm giving to her so this is the enchanted teapot it is probably my favorite teapot of all with the, like the little birds and the flowers and all of the details hallmarks are on the side there and there this one I already have I bought it in Charleston oh there it is on this bracelet actually I bought it in Charleston which was a trip where we drank a lot of tea as well and so um, I know I'm giving this one to my best friend. I bought it specifically for her. But depending on how my bracelets turned out, one or two of the other teapots could be hers as well. You never know. Like I said, she's my bestie. If she just loves this one, I would give it to her. Find another one for myself. If she does not care, then I will keep it. It is pretty. All right, there is everything out of my seven packages. All fits on this teeny tiny bag. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, share, send it to your friends. I don't know if your friends will care. But I did really enjoy making this. I enjoyed getting all of my charms and I will see you in the next video. Bye.